Um, I got a chance to see the Winery Dogs in concert. Um, Billy Sheehan, Mike Portnoy, and Richie Cotson. And um, always been a big fan of that band, a big fan of, of Richie Cotson. And um, so I thought I'd uh, go on to the neural app and see if there was any uh, captures of his signature amp from Victory. And lo and behold, I found um, someone had done some pretty good captures um, with their RK50. Um, and had captured it in, in a few, uh, in the clean mode and the crunch and with a boosted. Um, so if you're not familiar with his amp, it's a single channel amp, um, that does have a boost feature. So it's kind of interesting because, uh, if you look at how he uses it, it's a single channel amp and he's controlling the level of crunch using the volume on his guitar. So, um, it's kind of interesting in that I don't know that doing a capture of the amp gives you the same sensitivity, obviously, that you get from the amp itself. Um, so that's one thing to consider. So you, you, you're, you're really just capturing kind of that moment in time. You know, you can get a little bit of a, um, you know, you, if you back off the, uh, the volume on the guitar, it'll clean up a little bit, but not as much as the amp would. But I thought I'd um, give it a shot, put together a preset um, that's using uh, this and um, this is the preset here. Um, it's pretty basic. What I've got is um, I've got the three uh, captures. So we've got the, the RK50 Clean, RK50 Crunch, and RK50 Boosted. Um, and then I'm running those into a uh, Mesa 4x12. This, this is pretty much kind of my go-to cabinet for most amps. Um, and then I've got um, a tape delay and a lush reverb, kind of giving some ambience. And then on the front, um, I do have some compression that I'm using for a few of the scenes. And I figured, um, eh, do something different. I don't usually use a flanger. Let's throw a flanger on this and, and play around with it. So if we look at the scenes that we have here for this preset, um, I've got, uh, you know, scene A is just the clean. Here's that. So, a nice clean tone. Um, like I said, the on the amp itself, it's, you know, it's not a multi-channel amp, so typically you'd be trying to clean up the crunch with your volume knob, but this, this clean is, is kind of warm. Um, nothing super special, but it works. Um, I do like having the compressor in front of it a little bit. To me, it makes the, you get a little better kind of feel and touch sensitivity um, from the capture with the compressor in front of it. Um, then you've got the crunch. So this is the this is just the crunch um, capture. So I will say um, this capture, and I think the amp is like this. I mean, it, it's got some bite to it. Um, Actually, the guitar I'm using that you saw in the open playing is a kind of a homemade parts catcher that I built. And I'm actually using a DiMarzio Chopper T in the bridge, which is the same pickup that's in um, uh, Richie Cotson's uh, signature Tele from Fender. It's a, it's a very kind of low output humbucker, and it's also very neutral, kind of a rounded tone from an EQ standpoint. So it, um, and then this guitar overall is, is kind of warm and not very... Um, you know, sharp and attack. So the, you know, this amp with this guitar still has some bite to it. Um, so with, with a kind of a more trebly guitar, you might even get more bite than that. Um, and then I just, I did a scene where I, where I um, added the compressor to that just to kind of fill it out a little bit sometimes. Um, 
Um, and then we uh, we play with our flanger. So um, we've got the this is with the compressor and the flanger. This is the I was using in the in the opening playing when I was doing the. So it's kind of fun. Just. To... Nice kind of flanged rhythm tone, um, and then you've got the um, the boost. So the the amp has a boost function on it to kind of really kind of kick the the gain. So so that was kind of nice lead tone. Um, and then, uh, same thing, I just add, again, add the compressor on just to kind of give it a little more, um, you know, uh, fullness. So, I, um, I... I'll put this uh, preset uh, out of my on my uh, my neural account. Feel free to grab it, uh, and play around with it. Um, I'm liking it quite a bit. It's a nice kind of aggressive, but not uh, too high gain, um, but great for kind of an aggressive rock tone, similar that that kind of Richie uses with the Winery Dog. So uh, go check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks.